are you filming? Yes. <laughs> I, I'm here at Neiman Marcus on Honolulu, Hawaii, at the mall. What's the name of this? Ala Moana Mall. And I just bought, actually, my sweetie, my love, my sex monkey, just bought me a bottle and a small bottle of the new um, Blanche Immortel by Atelier Cologne, and I'm buying the Precious Food by Van Cleef and Arpels, and here is my happy new perfume dance. <laughs> Peace. Hey everybody, it's me again, Moody Boo. And we're on our last full day of our vacation in paradise on the big island of Hawaii. And I just wanted to show you my perfume slash product haul. I've got a lot of other girly shit, but um, I'll probably do a different video on that. Or I may not. You know me. Who knows? Anyway, um, I just wanted to show you all of the perfumes and stuff, products that I got from the Big Island and Oahu because we did some island hopping this year. Usually we just come to the Big Island. Um, we've been to Kauai and um, Maui and uh, Oahu and every year we come to the Big Island of Hawaii. So the first half of the trip we spent five days on Oahu and we went to Pearl Harbor again. That was something I have a lot of uh, heritage with World War II. So I really wanted to see the things I couldn't see last time we were at Pearl Harbor. We went on the Missouri this time. I probably will post a video about that. Um, and we went back to the Arizona. Um, very emotional. But I wanted to show you the perfumes and products that I got on Oahu and on the Big Island. So on Oahu, I got, actually Jim got this beautiful little cachet of perfumes for me by Atelier Cologne. Their newest release, Blanche Mortel. And he bought me the, the big um, box that has the small um, 30 ounce bottle and the leather case and the big 3.3 ounce um, bottle. I have worn, I brought a bunch of perfumes to wear and other than Cinecooch, which of course I wore <laughs> For other reasons, but anyway, um, other than that, I have worn pretty much always, every day, the Atelier Cologne uh, Blanche and Mortel. So Love anyway, this stuff. Thank you, Linda. She was my essay at Neiman Marcus at Ala Moana uh, Shopping Mall. If you ever have the chance on Oahu to go see it, do. It's amazing, but bring hundreds of dollars to spend because my honey he actually bought this for me he usually buys me jewelry but he knows I'm so into perfumes that he bought me this this case um, set of Atelier Cologne because it was the one we both agreed was our favorite um, the Blanche Immortal and it is amazing um, I have a review on it I may post it before this video or I may not so uh, look for that though and the other thing at Neiman Marcus I bought for myself was the Van Cleef and Arpels. And this is the Precious Oud. Oh man, I love that one too. They're both beautiful. Love going to Neiman Marcus. I've never been to one before. But I'll tell you, I could have spent $1,000 there very easily. And thanks to my honey, I didn't have to. I only spent a couple hundred so then when we got to the Big Island the big score I'm gonna call this video probably the big score was when we went to L'Occitane 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 love the place love the place and this time I had a very wonderful essay um, she was so knowledgeable and so helpful and so friendly. She probably would have let me film inside, but I did not. I wanted to be respectful of her 
courtesy to me and so um, anyway this is the bag that I got for free because I spent more than I think it was a hundred dollars you got this sixty eight dollar bag for free they're limited edition bags they look just like their paper bags but a local uh, company um, loves to make these bags um, Chanel bags and uh, all kinds of bags Louis Vuitton um, based on the bags that they hand out um, for you know when you buy a purchase but this is cloth it's beautiful it's huge I'm actually going to use it as my carry-on when we go home tomorrow it's fabulous I love this bag it's really well made and so it was like I said 60 bucks 70 bucks and I got it for free because I spent more than I think it was was it a hundred or hundred fifty whatever so anyway so when we went to L'Occitane and talked to Maku um, she was amazing and congratulations Maku I didn't tell you on your pregnancy I am just thrilled that you're gonna reproduce because you are so sweet and you are so helpful and I just really really appreciate all the help that you gave me and all the little tips and everything that you gave me um, while I was there so anyway once I told her I was a YouTube reviewer on on uh, on YouTube yeah redundant much yeah maybe um, <clears throat> She was like, oh, well, you know, here's this, here's that. And I was like, show me what's new. And here's what I want to get that I already know. So um, two of the first things that I sniffed out and I loved are the Neroli Orchidea. And honestly, the more I wore that, the younger I felt that it was. Um, so it may end up going in my basket of perfumes that I give to the extended females in my family um, I'm not talking huge females I'm talking extended family Ohana as they call it here in Hawaii one of them may really enjoy it it smells a little young for me it also has kind of that sweet fruity musky kind of a smell that you do get fairly commonly in young perfumes um, you know the Victoria's Secret and the Britney Spears and things like that I think when I first sprayed it I loved it but then I kind of the more I, I wore I was it like well I'm not so sure about it now so I, I I'm still on the fence about that it may be a little young for me but the one that wasn't was these one the Vanilla Narcisse and I really love it it was kind of a spicy mature vanilla and I'll talk more about it in a review and then I told her that I have naturally colored beautiful red fabulous mahogany uh, highlights and lowlights all natural okay I'm kidding because I've had some samples of this this shampoo and conditioner and go back this way and I kind of liked it but I wasn't sure because I only had one blast of it because my hair is so long so I wasn't sure if it really worked when you only can shampoo and condition one time it's really hard to tell if it's good or not and so she gave me a really good deal on this shampoo and conditioner and it's a travel size it's not very big but it's big enough that I'll be able to know when I'm done with it if it really holds my color or not and I'll report back about that and then, like I've talked about before, oh, hello, hello, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in. And I asked her, why don't they make a perfume out of the Amand? It is one of the best scents they've ever come out with other than the Ombre. And she said she's wondered the same thing, but they just haven't done it. And I'm hoping one of these days they make a perfume of the Amand because it's really my favorite scent of theirs ever well okay second favorite but really close so they were having a, a three for four purchase and these were four dollars a piece and these are the little travel size ones I have very small shelves in my shower so these fit perfectly there and I'm almost out of my first one 
And so she was even helpful enough to have me split up my purchases so that I could get the extra one free here. And these are the shower oils, which I don't use on my face. She tried to talk me into it, but I'm not going to do it because I have wrinkles with pimples. We all know it's gross and it's unfair and it pisses me off. But anyway, I love this stuff for shaving. I, it's amazing for cleaning my skin and yet leaving it soft and supple without making it feel greasy or oily. And so these were three for four and they were on sale for four dollars a piece. So I got all four of these for 12 bucks. No, yeah, yeah, three times four is 12, yes. So, and just a little book that I'm gonna talk more about um, the history of L'Occitane and what it's about. And I had to get me, because my BFF, Tammy, as soon as she used my Amand um, hand cream, and this is the Precious Hands. There's a couple of different creams. Um, even Maku couldn't tell me what the difference is between the creams except for the price. And I love this stuff. I love carrying this. It lasts forever. And I was about halfway through my tube. Um, oh, it was a month ago or something. And it's been a year since I got the last one. And my BFF Tammy used it once and threw it in her purse. And she looked at me like, what, you're not going to give it to me? And I was like, okay, keep it, you know, whatever. I'm going to go back to Hawaii, so I'll get another one. So this will last me a year easy because it takes very little. It's very concentrated. I lotion my hands as a nurse a lot. And pretty much every day I use this, and I still only went through half of it in a year. So I knew that this tube would last me forever. And it's not very expensive. It was like eight bucks or something for this tube. So love it. Okay, the big score. That's what I'm probably gonna call this video is the big score. See those right there? Mm-hmm. Know what that is? Well, let me tell you if you can't guess. That is, here, I'll go with the tester. That is, The, how much is this? This is the 2.5 bottle of the Omber that has been discontinued by L'Occitane. This is my Hawaii scent. This is what I use when it's the winter time, I'm missing the islands, we've been back a couple months, and I'm like, why am I not there now? because I love Hawaii. Well, this is the perfume that absolutely blows up my skirt, melts my butter, and floats my dinghy. It makes me feel like summer. It's this beautiful sweet amber, kind of slightly fruity floral kind of a smell, but it's, it's a beyond amazing. Well, here's the clincher. Since it's being discontinued, yes, you can find it on eBay for, you know, 100 bucks a pop. This is a 2.5 ounce bottle. When you go to L'Occitane and they're about to discontinue something, it goes on sale. Normally, do you see all the little coffins I have here? I call them coffins because it's a dying perfume. At L'Occitane Boutique, those go for $50 a piece. Okay, that's a really good price but it was being discontinued. They had four bottles left. I got each one of these for $20. 2.5 ounces, 75 mLs, brand new beauties of the Omber. You can see it through the, I'm not gonna undo the wrapper because we leave tomorrow, so I wanna leave it packed like that. Amazing. And Maku was more than helpful, the best perfume. It is on my Desert Island perfumes. I have four full bottles here plus the tester. I'm not even going to tell you how much the tester cost me. These were all $20. This one has no box and has been used. Take a guess how much it cost me. You'd probably be wrong. 
I also have two bottles. Well, I've got one bottle that's almost done at home and then another full bottle that I paid full price for. I may so, just give them away at Christmas. I haven't decided, but I had to buy her out. They have no more at the King's Court um, L'Occitane on the Big Island. No more. Why? Because I'm a bitch. And I bought her out. I love L'Occitane. And I am thrilled. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Maku. And thank you, Linda at Neiman Marcus. You both are amazing. Maku is like, oh, you're the first perfume reviewer I've met from YouTube or blogger or anything. And I went back in there to get something else. And she was like, oh, I was watching your videos. <laughs> love her. She is the sweetest, nicest person you you'd ever meet. you have a chance to go to L'Occitane on the Big Island, do it. It's well worth it. It's very affordable perfumes. So, and, and if you have a chance to go to King's Court at uh, on the Big Island and meet Maku, tell her Boo said hi. That chick rocks. Here's all my stuff. Hello. Love it. It's going to cost a fortune to take this back because I know I'm going to be over 50 pounds. But I will be doing a, a, another random review on everything I know about Hawaii to try to help some of you travelers out there. Um, there are some things you should know, some things that happen to me every trip, different things I actually learned from my mistakes. So I've learned some things and I want to pass them on. So I'll get back to you with reviews on some of these other things, but otherwise, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, peace. Thank you again, Linda and Maku. Wow, that's a long way down. <laughs> it is. And there's my stud cake. Look at that butt. <laughs> I'll just film your butt a while. <laughs> hey, who says white boys can't dance? I don't think I did anything to dispel the myth. <laughs> I love you. Love you too.